Once upon a time, there was a little engine called Edward. He lived in a shed with five other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again. He wants big, strong engines like us. Edward hadn't been out for a long time, and he began to feel sad. Just then, the driver and fireman came along to start work. The driver looked at Edward and said, "What's the matter? Are you feeling sad? Would you like to come out today?" said. Oh yes, please. So the fireman lit the fire and made a nice lot of steam, and Edward puffed away. The other engines were very cross at being left behind, and away went Edward to get some coaches. At last, Edward found the coaches, and they said, "Oh, please be careful, Edward." Don't bump and bang us like the other engines do. So Edward came up to the coaches, very, very gently, and the shunter fastened the coupling. The coaches were very pleased. Thank you, Edward. That was kind. We are glad you're taking us today. Then they went to the station where the people were waiting. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Come along, get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly, and Edward waited happily for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. He waited and waited, and there was no whistle and no green flag. Edward was getting anxious. Where is that guard? The driver and fireman asked the station master. Um, have you seen the guard? Hmm. No. They asked the porter. Uh, have you seen the guard? Uh, yes. Last night. Edward began to get cross. Are we ever going to start? Just then, a little boy shouted, "Here he comes!" And there the guard was, running down the hill with his flags in one hand and a sandwich in the other. He ran onto the platform, blew his whistle, and jumped into his van. Edward puffed off. He did have a happy day. All the children ran to wave as he went past. And he met old friends at all the stations. He worked so hard that the driver promised to take him out again next day. And he told the other engines in the shed that night. I'm going out again tomorrow. What do you think of that? Hmm. But he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. <laughs>